Hi, and welcome back. Uh, you know, I'm sitting in my chair today, or tonight. It's about 11.30, and I got a pretty bad headache, so I don't figure I'll be working on this because I, I can't stand the noise right now. But I uh, thought I'd take this opportunity to kind of reintroduce myself. My name is Thomas. If you're new to the channel, uh, I, as you can probably tell, I don't really know too much about body work or anything on any kind of classic cars, but I do, I do enjoy them a lot. And, uh, I, I have five so far in my collection, but all of them, but one is, uh, not running. And that one has a cracked windshield now, so it's non-drivable. Uh, it's the 78 Camaro. Uh, I don't have any videos back. Around the 4th of July, storm came through and blew part of my carport in on it and uh, busted the right in the line of sight of the driver's side uh, windshield. Anyways, that's one of them. Uh, the vehicle I'm going to talk about tonight is the 65 GMC short wide. Uh, my dad bought it off a guy in our hometown for I think 500 bucks. It ran and drove uh, okay. It, it had some some issues, but uh, it was actually running a vehicle, and it kind of pains me to look at the pictures and then see how it sets now because it seems like I have a problem with taking the front half of cars apart and just leaving them sit. If you see me looking off, I'm looking at the picture of the GMC right now. But uh, anyways, it, it ran and drive when we bought it, drove when we bought it. I remember we took it home and uh, as soon as we got out, yellow jackets come out of one of the bedpost uh, holes. That's one of my earliest memories with it. And I drove it back and forth to work a couple times. Uh, and then I, I trailer, trailered it to my first house me and my wife bought. It was a tiny, tiny garage. It was probably about half this size. Where I proceeded to uh, put seafoam in it. And it smoked a lot. Like, if people in our neighborhood probably thought our garage was on fire, it smoked so much. But uh, after that, I decided... I was going to do a full restoration on it, so I took the fenders off, grill hood, and uh, yanked the engine out. I think the transmission's still in it, and uh, that's as far as it went. I got the engine block sitting over by the compressor, and I got one second shelf over here dedicated to parts for it, with a little bit of the Camaro mixed in there. But, uh, yeah, uh, all I needed was a was a cam. I think it's still here. Yeah, give me a second. This is the uh, cam that was in it. I don't know if you can tell, but some of those lobes right there are wore down pretty good. Not not so bad back here, but uh, it definitely ran rough. And I think that was probably the only thing it needed was a new cam. And uh, but my my plan was to do like I'm doing with the Bronco and take it apart and do a complete restoration on it. And anyways, yeah, I took the front end apart and that's where, it, as far as I got. Uh, same with the 50 Chevrolet. Took the front end on, off of that and it's sitting out there in the mother barn. But, uh, anyways, uh, let me show you some pictures of what it looked like before I started disassembling it. Yeah, sorry if there's some glare, but, uh, this is what it looked like when we bought it. The paint on it, I think, was, like, house paint, because you can see brush strokes. But, uh, that's when it was driving. And, uh... All, all the glass was okay in it. The windshield had a crack. 
and I think the passenger side door was pretty pretty beat up. I don't think I got a picture of it, but all in all, it wasn't too bad for $500. There's what the little engine looked like. Inside, I think I found a, uh, oh, I forgot what tape it was, but it was, uh, I can't remember the artist. But anyways, this was my attempt at making it into like a rat rod. My plan was to black everything out, make the GMC red, and then uh, do a red interior, like a bright red, which now I think back was probably a bad idea. But we had a a person fix this right here. It's pretty bad ding in it. And I think they just filled it with Bondo and then uh, had a crack in there. Somebody welded it up. Which there's a few few things that needed need work. Well, it needs a lot of work. This was in my old shop. That was tiny, but uh, I could act, move around a little bit. Not as not as good as this one. You can kind of see where I was going with it. I was taking the engine out and. There it is with the engine out. Sorry about that cricket. Man, it's loud. Anyways, that's how, how she sits out there at the moment. Of course, when you walk over there and find it, it uh, stops to make a noise. But anyways, that's the, I have more pictures, but they're all on the computer. And I'm not sure how to put them in a video just yet, but, uh, Anyways, that's what it looked like when we bought it. And uh, right now, with the price of the truck and everything I've got in it already and parts I got for it, it's probably gonna be about I have a few thousand, maybe. That might be a little on the high side. Uh, the reason I say that is because I got a 3 by 2 intake manifold that I planned on putting on it. I got a new new distributor and uh, I had the heads redone. I think they got a Lunati uh, springs and I got a Lunati cam. Pretty much this stuff down here was supposed to go in that 65 GMC, but I was going to actually put that stuff in the Camaro. Which that's kind of in the air now, because uh, I'm afraid if I pull the windshield off the Camaro right now, that I don't have too much rust around it, and a new window won't fit right or wouldn't fit in at all. Is my my issue at the moment. So this may go back into the uh, GMC, which is just sitting there now, and I don't know. Anyways, uh, back to it. Uh, my plan was to, or my plan now is to, uh, you know, rebuild the engine and everything. And I still like to put that stuff in it and that three by two intake. Oh, there it comes again. Uh, but I was thinking about painting it like a flat gray. I like the, I forgot what the Jeep color calls it. It was like Rhino, clear Rhino or something like that. Sorry about that. Hold on a minute. I think it's in this pile of wood down there. I think we're gonna put fix the carport this weekend. Anyways, uh, my plan was to fix it up and drive it, but if I do fix it up, I may end up trying to sell it so I can fund the Healy over there. Cause I really like to get that going and driving. I think it'd be fun to drive. Uh, depending on how I feel next video, we may try to start that up. If uh, I'm still in talks about this Bronco, I'm wanting to get it to a paint body shop, but 
haven't had a chance to talk to him yet. Hopefully I'll do that this weekend and depending if he's able to come get it or not, it may be gone. If it is, we'll bring the Healy over and I'll let you hear what it sounds like. Uh, but uh, I don't know where I was going with that. But yeah, uh, sorry about the lack of me doing anything tonight, but like I said before, I got, I think, pretty close to migraine. And uh, if the Bronco's still here, my plan is to start taking parts off of the body that don't need to be there for the painting body. Get all that cleared up and uh, drop the back gas tank out and make sure everything is off of the body. So there's little that he'd have to do. I think I'll leave the steering column in just for the fact it might be easier to get in a shop that way and, and position it where he wants it. And then either see if he wants to or I'll come over and pull the column out. But uh, if it all works out, like I hope it will, uh, my plan is to uh, go up there monthly take a short video of it so y'all see what it looks like while I have the frame and the, everything here and I'll be working to put that back together since I got some su suspension parts already and that way hopefully when that's all together I can bring it up there and he can just drop the body on it and hang the doors and get all my gaps right and the hood and then I'll do the wiring and all the rest of the plumbing and uh brakes and all that stuff here and then hopefully you'll be done and we'll get to drive around a little bit that's my plan in a perfect world but i don't know how it's gonna work out but i got rid of it anyways uh sorry again for the lack of hold on just a minute okay yeah i think there's a whole colony of bugs in those boards so Anyways, before it starts again, uh, yeah, speaking of headache, that right there is driving me crazy. Anyways, uh, sorry about the lack of content of working on anything in the Bronco, but uh, depending on what we do next, uh, I mean, I may throw in a video like this again in the, sometime in the future over the 50 Chevrolet and tell you about it. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching. If you're new, I post every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and uh, hopefully we'll get to get back on the Bronco and uh, keep on moving. Oh, it's driving me crazy. Anyways, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next.